Hello and welcome to this Bioprocess International Ask the Expert webcast. I'm your host, Leah Rosen, the online editor for Bioprocess International. Before we get started, just a couple of notes. This webcast is being recorded and will be made available for replay in the multimedia section of our website. We've muted the audio lines, but we welcome you to type in your questions for our speaker in the question answer window on your screen. After the presentation, we will begin the question and answer portion, and I will ask our speaker your questions. Your questions in the question and answer window will only be visible to myself and our speaker. So thank you for joining us today. It is now my pleasure to introduce our speaker, Hannah Yug from BI Separations, a part of Sartorius. So hello, my name is Hannah Yug, and I'm a project manager in process development for viral vectors and vaccines at BI Separations, a Sartorius company. During my 10-year period of working at BIA Separations, I got experience in downstream purification and analytics of demanding biologics. I managed several projects for clients in clinical phases, mainly in field of gene therapy using adeno-associated virus, as well as in vaccine area like adenovirus platform. So today, let me present you our adenovirus vector manufacturing platform using Simultus QA. We at BIA Separation Sartorius focus on developing products as well as solutions for purification of therapeutics, mostly used in the field of cell and gene therapy and vaccines. We manufacture market-leading seam monolithic chromatographic columns for purification and analysis of large biomolecules such as viruses, plasmids, and mRNA. Our abounding portfolio is offering solutions to each challenge. So thanks to the increased production capacity, we drastically improved our stock management system and can provide faster turnaround times. Most of our products are ready from stock, meaning that our lead times will not stand in your way when you're meeting the deadline. Besides manufacturing SIM products, BIA also offer process and analytical development services known as corner store biomanufacturing development services available for different biomolecules. Our laboratories are fully equipped to work with organisms from biosafety level one and two, and there are more than 25 well-qualified process development and analytical scientists taking care the job of high quality is done fast. BS technology for manufacturing scale purification is already used in the production of the first commercialized advanced therapeutics and can also a keen presence with novel drug candidates in the clinical pipeline. Today, I want to focus on the solutions that we are offering for adenovirus purification and analytics. In the past, this viral vector had a leading role in gene therapy, but it was later replaced with AAV vector due to some safety concerns. But recently, Adeno has regained the attention and is used as a COVID vaccine delivery vehicle. The everlasting COVID-19 crisis is dramatically displaying the need to expedite vaccine development to mitigate global uncertainties and fears. Consequently, this situation and its dimension call for the most innovative, flexible, and productive, productive bioprocessing approaches and also tool available. And here is where monolithic technology outshines the rest because we are all aware of the importance of this viral vector. We have designed plans in a way that we can offer Adeno customers immediate support, either by offering columns or by developing methods for them. Monolithic columns are unique in a way that channels in the monolith enable very fast process without turbulent flow and shear forces. There is no diffusivity in that end pocket. Therefore, our columns allow higher capacities and better yields. Separation is therefore flow independent. We are offering ionic, cationic, hydrophobic, affinity chromatography, and so on, and monoliths of different sizes. So today, allow me to present our second generation adenoviral vector purification process based on monolithic chromatography using Simultus QA as the key purification step, as well as accompanying analytical tools. The novel industrial process secures better purity at higher yields and its robustness was verified using different upstream materials. Finally, 
higher capacity of the columns used in this process overcomes the raw material supply bottleneck. When working with cells of different origin, mammalian, insect, even bacteria, we need to consider one very important phenomenon, byproduct of lysis, chromatin. During cell lysis, negatively charged DNA is released from cell, forming complexes with highly charged proteins. Those complexes need to be removed as soon as possible in the process. They are a major cause of side effects in vaccines. Depending on the surface exposed, they can be positive or negative. Therefore, complete removal can be quite challenging. Similar structures are present also in antibody production. So whenever we are dealing with cell lysates, we need to pay attention on chromatin complexes. Several years ago, we were developing purification process in collaboration with another company where monoliths were used successfully. Process was tested on material coming from different cell lines, confirming the robustness of the process. Adenovirus was successfully separated from impurities regardless of cell line used for virus production. Recently improved second generation of purification of adenovirus consists of typical downstream steps, and our case was not exception. We started with cell pellet, diluted in buffer, and performed lysis by adding sodium chloride to the final concentration of 0.5 molar uh, salt and twin 20 to 0.25 percent. This high cost salt concentration prevents forming of chromatin structures and by that really facilitates the purification. After short incubation, cryptonase, a salt-tolerant nuclease, was added and lysate was incubated while mixing. After that, material was clarified with coarse and fine filtration and TFF for dia filtration. Following step was chromatography using anion exchange simul to skew a column where adenovirus was purified in bind elute mode. After capture step, polishing step of ultrafiltration and diafiltration or another chromatography step can be used to further purify and uh, or concentrate the virus as well exchange to the formulation buffer. So collected fractions were then analyzed using our PATFIX HPLC system with analytical CMAC adeno column. Developed analytical methods allow us to track adenovirus through the process and also to follow the impurities removal from the beginning of the process to the end. Additional feature of such HPLC analytics is multi-angle light scattering detector, which serves as orthogonal quantification method and is in case of adenovirus the most sensitive detector. A lot of analytical methods to detect DNA are on market, but it takes quite some time to get results. So we developed another important tool we are exploiting in this analytical method, and this is usage of picogreen staining. Since picogreen binds to DNA, it helps us to follow the removal of chromatin and DNA residual, known to cause side effects. Such analytics also offer that process is developed way, way faster. So capture step using Simultus QA column uh, was performed on ACTA Pure SE system, and firstly, pH of TFF retentate was adjusted, following by another fine filtration. Filtration step before loading seems unnecessary, but it's extremely important in order to remove all the aggregates formed during TFF. Sample was then loaded on the column and eluted in linear gradient. On the left side, we can see whole chromatogram with low flow through signal then elution peak in the gradient, and in the end, lower peak, uh, this is CIP. On the right side, there is zoomed in of adeno peak with some residual impurities. You can see that absorbance ratio 260 to 180 is indicating really high purity of the product. <clears throat> we are looking at analytical chromatograms of in-process fractions, which disclose a lot of important information. On chromatogram of lysate, we can see high level of well-separated impurities, which were then reduced during clarification, TFF, and also filtration. Green arrow is indicating high flow-through signal, 
which corresponds mostly to the GFP protein in the sample, fluorescing at similar wavelengths as picogreen. With TFF, then smaller proteins and degraded DNA residuals were removed, as well buffer was exchanged to loading conditions. And then finally, when material is saluted from C multus QA column, elution is really pure and complex free. Additionally, is if ultra pure product is needed, polishing step can also be implemented. Let's say another TFF or chromatography for concentration and buffer exchange. So capacity tests were also performed, and for this experiment, harvests prepared by different sources were used. We've tested harvests coming from adherent and suspension cell line, high and low cell density, which affect the level of impurities, high and low MOI, and parallels of some conditions. We noted similar capacity. In case of high impurity level, capacity was for sure lower due to proteins occupying binding sites. But capacity measured uh, was with the DDPCR method, so we are looking at a viral genome per milliliter of monolith. You can see also that DNA and protein removal was very good as well as recovery of the purification. We've added mass detector also on preparative system, the black line, and uh, took the advantage of this highly sensitive detection of adenovirus. And chromatogram is showing the breakthrough curve and on the zoom in, on the right side, there is adenovirus eluted in really sharp single peak. Then fractions of the breakthrough experiments were again analyzed using described HPLC analytical method, and most important points are shown here. On the upper figure, we can see complex composition of lysate, all signals showing impurities in flow through and in elution before adenovirus, which is also detected with all detectors. After TFF, a lot of proteins and smaller DNA fragments are removed, and adenovirus is already more exposed. And then in the last phase, where we are looking at elution from C multus QA column, there is a sharp peak representing adenovirus. On the right side, there are zoom-in chromatograms of the same fractions, just showing the purity of each fraction. So picogreen HPLC method really enable us to see even low concentrations of impurities present in the final sample, and those impurities can be further removed. So to sum up, results presented confirms Simultus QA to be very effective tool for adenovirus vector purification. Advanced removal of chromatin dramatically improves performance and reproducibility of all chromatography methods at capture and continuing into polishing step. Developed analytical method enables ion exchange method to provide easy and sensitive monitoring of DNA content across all purification processes. Due to high operational flow rates, these columns enable virus of high concentration and outstanding purity in very, very short time. Furthermore, C multus QA columns provide higher yields at lower manufacturing costs. As well, they represent an alternative for vaccine manufacturing constantly in lack of material supply. Accompanying HPLC analytics using CMAC adeno column is a reliable method offering rapid in-process insight for upstream and downstream application. And with this, I'm finishing with presentation. So thank you all for your attention. Thanks, Hannah. So before we get started with the questions for Hannah, we have some questions for you from Hannah. So the first question is, has the shortage of raw material supply on the market impacted progress on your downstream process development or manufacturing? Um, and you just use your mouse on the screen to click yes or no. And then there are two additional questions that you can go ahead and just type in your answers to. They have a short text box and questions are, what is your primary concern when it comes to adenovirus purification? And how do you monitor your adenoviral vaccine production process analytically? So you can go ahead and type in brief answers there. 
Um, that will help Hana. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to the first question for the Q&A, which is, is purification method stereotype specific? Hana. Uh, yes. So uh, this process is really robust and is working well on all serotypes. We also developed a process for AAVs and also this process is working for all serotypes. So again, the same with adenovirus process is robust and it's working for all serotypes. And what are the key points in this purification process? Yes, so I would say the key point is right in the beginning of the of the process, which is then the DNA removal. So we really need to be sure that we got rid of all of the chromatin, all of the complexes, and uh, then to prepare sample really in a good way. And after that, we won't have any problems on the column. And we can assure that uh, the product will be really pure and qualitative. And how could a, a company improve capacity using this method? So capacity and also uh, yield can be improved with proper pre-chromatographic sample preparation. As I mentioned, we need to get rid of DNA. And uh, also, it is really nice if you uh, do the TFF before, so you can get rid of smaller proteins. Uh, with uh, And we can... You can also uh, implement additional step of uh, filtration before uh, QA chromatography, which can be really, which can have benefits in uh, removing all the precipitated material. Then uh, you need to work with proper enzymes. So in terms of DNA degradation, uh, if you are uh, using the lysis sweet salt, you need to be sure that your enzyme is active in those conditions, and all these can uh, improve capacity. Okay. Looks like that is all the questions we have at the moment. If you haven't yet submitted your question, go ahead and type those in now, and we can pass them on to Hana, and she can follow up these with you directly. So finally, um, thank you, Hannah. Thank you. And thanks to our audience for joining us. The recorded version of this webcast will be available for on-demand viewing on our website and as a registered attendee. You'll receive a follow-up email providing you with a direct link. We look forward to having you join us at future Bioprocess International Ask the Expert webcast. Look for those announcements in your inbox. Goodbye.